Here we are at 5991 Hamilton Bridge Road. I'm out next to Hamilton Bridge Road, uh, showing you the front. Uh, this kind of vinyl fence, picket fence, is very sturdy. Very sturdy. It looks like it's uh, put in well. When I shake on it, it's like very solid. So, um, got the new roof. You know, those shutters are all wood. Um, stepping in here is like a perfectly preserved uh, timepiece. I feel like I'm walking through George Washington's mansion in here. It's just, uh, wow. It's kind of like step back in time. It's pretty cool, though. It is in great shape, though. You guys may remember these styles. I think I was a little kid when I wore these colors uh, in maybe my kindergarten picture. Um, anyway, this is the living room. It's all red, this carpet here. And this uh, enters into the dining room. This is kind of an indoor-outdoor type carpet. Um, here's your kitchen. It's it's in great shape. I mean, I can't believe how good a shape all this is in for what I think has got to be old. <laughs> it's in great shape. Um, really great layout. Look at this um, garage. It's got these thick garage doors, which I've never seen. I want to take a picture of this model number I saw on the side. Um... That floor safe is in the garage in here, on the attached two-car garage. It's a big garage. It's got this nice little uh, utility sink area. To me, this thing screams a mechanic renting this thing with everything out there, your other garage, um, your, I could see the, the goof off or whatever right there if you wash that orange stuff. Um, Nice utility sink. Here's the laundry room, the hot water heater, big laundry room with all these all this shelving. Comes back into the house, dining room, living room, big. Uh, those are the fake logs, and I see a plug. So I guess this was an electric thing they had there. Well, it's a big fireplace though, deep. Go down the hallway. These, by the way, these walls kind of have a rough texture on them, like rough wood texture. Like this isn't, this is like real wood paneling. What I always thought was great about wood paneling, I had it in my office. If you put sheetrock over it, you can put a nail anywhere and it'll stay. You don't have to find a stud because this wood paneling will hold it to put a picture up, you know? Anyway, this is the hallway. This is the AC. It's kind of dark in there, but it's a new AC. You can tell. It has that air filter thing. I didn't know if it had the uh, ultraviolet light. I didn't see that on there, but that's an easy add if you wanted it. This is a bedroom, one of the guest bedrooms. It's got this little thing. I don't know if they're leaving it, but it's got a good size closet. I mean, I guess the listing said nobody's lived here in decades. And maybe that's why it's in such pristine shape. But it's older styles and stuff, but it's in great shape. It really, I don't know if I've ever seen something like this. It's old and in this good a shape. It's really like if you keep a antique doll in the box and never use it. Here's uh, guest bedroom number two. The big closet. Guest bedroom number three. Actually, why would I say that? This is the uh, primary bedroom.
big closet there with a light on that one. Look at this bathroom. Yep, carpet. <laughs> this wallpaper doesn't have it. There's a wallpaper section in the in the master that's kind of felty feeling. Not in the master in the living room. This this room has been sheetrocked. The master has been sheetrocked. Okay. That bedroom's been sheetrocked. I just noticed that. So all the bedrooms have been sheetrocked. I wonder if it's sheetrocked over paneling. I don't know. But if you sheetrocked over this, you could do that nail thing I was telling you about. All right, here's the, the closet in here in the hallway. This is that wallpaper that's got felt texture on it. It's felty. That's almost like if you update it, leave that as a statement piece. Okay. That's the inside, we'll go to the outside. We'll finish, save the best for last. We'll go over here, this garage, which is nice too now. I opened one of the doors. There's no automatic garage door openers. All doors are open manually, but they're in good shape, easy to open. This door has a, all the front doors and everything have a uh, screen door. This door has a screen door, a nice solid screen door. I don't know about the car. <laughs> I guess it don't stay. Um, the lights did not turn on, but there's obviously power ran. Um, of course, we could find out about that. Maybe it's just cut off because nobody's here. I opened this door manually. But look at all this storage, all this storage shelves. I mean, you could store for days with all these shelves. A big, nice, detached garage. That's really nice. That's a really nice building to have. Big side yard here. Put a double gate over there for pulling up anything up into this. Nice gazebo. And here is the big guess like Larry said, 2,000 square foot uh, metal building. Um, it's got gutters all around. Gutters all around. I saw them on the other side. I should see them here. Yep, see? Three downspouts actually going under the ground. So the a great drainage going on here. French drains. I opened this door before I came. I guess that'd be a 12 foot door. It may be higher. I may go get my stick and measure it. But this is huge in here. Look at all these lights. It's got the insulation, the, the padding. It's, it's insulated. This is an awesome building. Um, the garage door is the chain uh, pulley system. It kind of slips a little bit when I go up. That's going. Not going down. Like there, it just slipped a little bit, but it keeps going. Oh, yeah, this is very nice. RV hookup right there. Probably, I think they call those a 30 amp. That probably needs to be replaced. Nice new panel out here. Newish looking, I don't know. I don't see a date or anything, but this looks pristine. Yeah, it's an awesome building. So, um, let me run and show you the side. There are those lots, I think they were called lot three and lot eight behind there. And we'll go look at lot 10, which I think you want to buy. But let's look behind here. It kind of slopes front to back. Go out the back here. There's another double gate. Looks like they built up to when they put this up and this foundation on. 
they got the drainage all running around it and down and away got it set up nice for the drainage <laughs> this is that lot 10 then i guess behind there is still this lot wooded part of this lot and then right here would be that lot 10. i want to show it to you from the side road because it's elevated above the road i want to show you that See, there's a slope I gotta go down here. So yeah, you can see it's a little bit elevated there for lot 10. Here's a side view of the property. It's my truck. So that's it, the Hamilton Bridge Road property.